Okay, I'm gonna make you crew. Okay, I'm in. Isn't Beautiful. that weird how we have to do it twice? So just keep in mind, it's beta, so but I think we have a solid connection now with um with Nathan. So I'm gonna close this window. We have some you're ready one. Yeah, I'm ready one too. Amen, brother. Okay, so first things first, um I'm gonna put some fuel in the plane if that's okay with you, sir. Sounds good. Actually, it's a, it's, it started with 10,000, so, um, yeah, I think we'll be fine with that. I'm getting uh, fr calm frequencies real quick. I just don't hit anything in the plane quite yet until I look at it. Um, I'm also going to uh, pre-file on uh, that sim. So we're going... We're going from Salt Lake City to Boise on VATSIM. And we're going to pre-file. Oh, that looks fantastic. The root, the remarks. We'll put in the URL. Okay. I'm going to put this before the TCAS sim brief and we'll file the flight plan. Okay. Uh, this is X plane 13. Adam, how you doing, sir? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we skipped 12 and we went right to 13. It is amazing. <laughs> All right, so do you want me to just let's let me have you when you're when you're ready, I'll just have you just I'll just tell you what to do and you do it and then um just assume that I'm asking nicely every time even though it may, it may not sound nice. You go for it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, uh just for your reference, uh N87UP Nathan is uh in Florida and I'm in the state of Utah. So we're very far apart. We're on Discord. We're connected via shared flight. And he's about to manipulate my Zebo plane. So go ahead and do battery on. All right, battery on. My hands are off. <laughs> and let's do ground power on. Ground power set to on. Okay, perfecto. Let's do. I have no ground power. Do you? I have ground power. I may need a truck. I'm not sure. We didn't need that last time, but I don't have ground power at the moment. Okay, hold on. You have standby power, all right. The Zebo checklists checklists work on both left and right tablet. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, I accidentally brought one up. Uh, I'll cycle ground power. It's interesting that you don't have any power. So you have the there's no power in the plane. No power in the plane for me at the moment. Okay. I've got battery. I'm on battery power, so standby power is working. It's just uh, when I select ground power up top, I don't see... Oh, disregard. No, we're on DC volts. I've got 24 AC volts, zero. On ground power? Yes. So your your what does your AC volt say? Zero. Zero. And then I've got 112. Okay. Whereas that yeah, was that was synced before. Mm-hmm. Okay. You want to try and bring up the uh, GPU truck over here on the right? Um, on the tablet. Sure. All right. You want me to hit it? or You want to hit it? Uh, let's see what happens when I hit it. Okay. I now have ground power. Good to go. Okay. Perfect. All right. Continue. All right, uh, let's go to the upper overhead and go ahead and do IRS alignment to nav. Okay, aligning left, aligning right, set to nav. And then down on the, let's just go ahead and do the FMS. Let's click on FMC. Now, do you want to set up the FMC or you want me to walk it through? We'll see if what happens when you try to do it. All right, click an FMC. And you're doing it on the left FMC, correct? Correct. 
All right. Um, position in it. Okay. Clear the NRIRS position from the scratch pad. All right. It's clear on my end. I'll hit it again. Make sure it's clear okay. on your end. Let's put in uh, reference airport KSLC. That. And then previous page, previous page to get the GPS left. Next, next, and position. Yep. Okay. You have very little time in this plane, but yet you know quite a bit. Uh, let's do. Let's see. Yeah, I think we'll we're aligning now, so we'll wait to do the route. So back Sounds to good. back to the uh, overhead. Um, do All you right. have an attitude on your MCP? Does it show blue and sky and ground? Let's on... see. I have. Yes. Okay. No, great. not on uh, not on my side. I have it on your side. You on? Okay, that's fine. Uh, go ahead and I'll. Well, let me do this side here since we can simulate what the captain would do here. So I'm going to go yaw damper on, and I'll just turn on left aft fuel pump. Did that? change on your side yes perfect if you want to go ahead and toggle window heat hey okay, window heat coming on isn't this cool <laughs> and turn off hydraulics a and and turn the b's on a a coming off b on Arm the emergency exit lights. Got to remind me on in that the, one. Right I next can't. to the hydraulic pumps to the left of it. In the middle, very middle of the... Yes, got it. Okay. That guard switch always throws me off. Yeah. Good morning, hat trick. Uh, fish go blue. Sorry, I missed the comment there. How's controlling going? I'm in... The, I mean, I'm, I'm training. I've got unofficial training. I've got official training scheduled. It's fantastic i am having a ball with it and it is just i i can't i have to kind of control myself because i'm too excited and nathan here is also uh signed up for training out of the jacksonville rtac so he's excited as well right yeah it's it's fun it is fun all right uh hydraulics are on let's turn on the trim air which is to the le right of the window heat Trim air hey, on. Hey, trim air coming on. And let's turn packs to auto. Packs auto. Let's set our uh, flight altitude. Let's leave it at 320. And then the oh, landing. Flight, flight level to 320? Yeah. Uh, yep. On the pressurization, that's fine. I've got blinks up there for me. Oh, on the on the flight altitude? Yep, flight altitude and landing are both blank for me this time. Oh, interesting. Let's see. If, uh, it's okay. Let's what are you that, set at? Let's see if that syncs in time, because some things didn't display and then they <gasps> did for you. I see the knob rotating, but I don't see the uh, altitudes okay. indicating And you that. did see that on the test flight that we did earlier, right? I did, yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to bring up the... Oh, I got a PDC. <laughs> Bat That's amazing. came on. <laughs> so uh, our PDC is from my friend. He is giving a PDC Southwest 572. Uh, we're going to be cruising at flight level 380. So let's. I'm going to switch the pressurization to 380. And we're going to do a route of... The Siegel 1, Twin Falls Transition, Brof, Spud 3, which is what we have uh, filed. I'm going to clear my uh, foreflight. Just just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to test one more thing, if you don't mind, Nathan. I, I just want to show my... Um, I want to show my... Yeah, iPad. go ahead. I want to show my iPad on screen. I've Beautiful. Been, I've been testing this, uh, so we're going to go screen mirror... And we'll see how my stream handles streaming of the iPad as well. Uh, okay, let's do that. 
And um, so anyway, this is my uh, iPad screen. And I understand the traffic notice. So as I'm manipulating my iPad, you guys are seeing it on the screen, which is fantastic. So I'm going to type in KSLC to KBOI. And then I'm going to tap the roots button. And it's going to come up and it's going to say Route Advisor, Seagull, Twin Falls, Brope, Spot 3. I'm going to choose that. Select root. And then for the Spud 3, I don't know what runway we'll be landing. We'll probably get assigned a runway later. But let's just say 10 right for now. I don't know. Then I'm going to click on the pack and we're going to pack our weather, notams, fuel prices, etc. Because, you know, we need to know fuel prices, of course. Does that show up on stream okay? Yeah, it looks pretty good. So we're packed there, and that is good to go. For some reason, I've got a chart over here. There we go. Flight plan. Now it's in the middle. All right, so there, and we can get rid of this approach plate. And we can actually go back to the flight plan, and we can click on the seagull and show the plate. So here's our seagull departure, top altitude 230. All that good stuff is ready to go. And I'm actually going to put that on the map. And uh, actually, seagull. Or show on map. Oh, it's talking about Corver. Okay, that's fine. As is. Okay, um, a plane. Yeah, friend to all, how you doing? This is the Zebo 737-800. Yep. All right, we're good. Back to our clearance. So uh, the route is verified. The clearance limit to Boise is verified. Uh, we're going to maintain 10,000. So go ahead and dial in the MCP 10,000, if you would, Nathan. 10,000. There you go. Now, normally I would put in about 155 or 160 on my speed for takeoff. But in this case, go ahead and put in 230. And that's going to remind us that we have to maintain 230 until advised. Departure I don't yet see speed, okay. but uh, I should be able to see it in just a bit. All right, so in that case, I'm going to rotate. I think once we get on gens, you'll see it maybe. So I'm going to rotate it to two, three, zero, and that's good. All right, and then our squat code. If in, in the bottom, could you put in three? This is really weird because it's really close already, but in the transponder, three, one, or tree, one, tree, four. This is your first exposure to Zebo. I assume Zebo is not available on, yes, correct. Not available on that same platform. Isn't that funny? Exclamation plane. A bird. All right. I got three, one, three, four set. You want to go to T-A-R-A -A now or wait? Yeah. Squawk altitude now. That's fine. Squawk normal is sometimes what they refer to it as. Um, that's fine. Okay. So we are good on our clearance. Uh, I think if we double click on the ATIS, we will probably get our ATIS. Yep, we do. Information... Alpha, uh, information alpha says one, let's see, I wish the ATIS would go into the field here. Uh, it says uh, wind 120 at 7, 10 statute, few at 200, temperature minus 4, dew point minus 12. And I, I love that about the Challenger, how you can have the digital ATIS. That's really cool. It's you want to test uh, radio and see if ATIS plays through a sure. radio? Yeah, let's do that. Zero at seven. Visibility one zero. Few clouds at two zero thousand. Temperature minus four. Dew point minus one two. Altimeter three zero five two. Visual approach is in use. Landing and departing runways one six right, one six left, and one seven. VFR is... There's contact clearance delivery with direction of flight. North is to airmen. Airport surface detection system in use. Operate transponder with altitude reporting on airport surface. 
Non-chat VFR arrivals and departures. Expect a published VFR transition. IFR departures expect a pre-departure clearance via private message. Read my call runway assignments and hold short instructions. Simultaneous approaches in use. Advise on initial contact. You have information alpha. Okay. You can alpha. silence that. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and start the uh, APU. So down by okay, the taxi light. Okay. Okay, so I'm coming on. on and start. Thousand, two, thousand. Watching for EGT. Yeah, friend to all. I think you'll really love the Zebo, uh, but it'll have to be on X, X Plane 11. And it's a great price. <laughs> it's a really good price. <laughs> EGT rising. Yours, e, your EGT rising? 600 and rising. Seven. Okay. Eight. And I'm stabilized at eight. Coming back down. All right, you want me to turn on the APU gens? Let's try that. Hopefully, we don't have any failures. Also, turn on okay. the APU bleed. I think that looked good. Yeah, it looks good for me. I've got way more on my screen than I did before. APU bleed is... APU bleed on. Perfect. Now, because we're on the APU gens... I'm going Attention to aircraft information. Bravo is now current. Oh, winds one five zero at four. Salt Lake out under three zero five three. We have Bravo. All right, awesome. And we're Southwest five seventy two. Uh, Vats and audio looked good or sounded great. Um, all right, so APU is on. Jen's on. I'm gonna make sure that we're disconnected. Yeah, I'm gonna disconnect the GPU. So just want to verify. Yeah, I think we're good. So GPU disconnected now. And ground power should have automatically turned off. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on all fuel pumps, if you could verify that that happened on your side. All fuel pumps on. All right. And let's program a few things on the MCP. Do you have speed yet? I have speed now. Okay, good. All right, go ahead and turn your flight director on. Flight director. And then turn it off. Because now I'm going to turn mine on. I'll be the master. Now turn yours on. Perfect. Everything looks good there. Go ahead and set uh, rejected takeoff on the auto brake. It's a little premature, but we're just getting ahead of the game. Uh, we're RTO gonna... set. Thank you. And that looks good there. Yaw damper is on. All right, fasten seatbelt signs to auto. All right, fasten seatbelts to auto. And a collision light to on. Position light can go steady. And I'm going to call for pushback. Ground Check the doors. Please show me where you want to go. Uh, doors. Ground and cockpit. Tow is driving up. Doors are, doors doors are doors. good on my side. I'm going to close mine through uh, Zebo. And yours are open? Yeah, this time mine okay. are open. Okay. Set the barrel. 3051. Right, 3051 coming up. He's setting, Nathan's now setting the standby altimeter, and now he'll send send his side. All right, 3051 set three times. Okay. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Ready to connect.
Might as well give away a Zebo, right? Hey, I, I will give away a Zebo on this flight, John. Okay. To to everybody in chat. Put an first three people to put O Zebo in chat win the Zebo. And the, and the caveat is you already have to own X Plane Eleven. <laughs> okay. And the the giveaway value cannot exceed the the price of the aircraft. Or or point oh 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 one exactly yeah that's fair that's fair. Ozibo, this URL not found is the winner. Hello, Joe. Hat tricks a winner. All right, I'm going to release our parking brake. Is your FMC set up? No, not yet. We'll do that after we stop. Because you're right, we should probably do that. <laughs> We're just getting some visual candy. Oops. Okay, there we go. <laughs> See, this is the advantage of having a co-pilot. He's like, well, did, have we programmed our, our flight? <laughs> you won a Zebo. Yeah. And you, you can even uh, choose this uh, Southwest livery that I'm rocking today. <laughs> If you want to walk me through the FMC, I'll uh, I'll put it in. That would be great. As soon as we stop, we will maintain our APU uh, gens and delay engine start. We're going to simulate an IFR hold on or a ground hold at Salt Lake City. <laughs> Definitely a ground hold right now. It's actually kind of cold. They might be plowing the runways. There's a Frontier Flight 70 over on the other terminal. It, yeah, it, it, it is. Patrick. Operation complete. Go ahead and set the parking brake. Parking brake is it's set. Disconnecting tail. Stand by. It is really amazing that even the pushback works flawlessly like this. this it is really amazing. is flawlessly. Or flawless. Like I'm yeah. hearing all the same sounds you're hearing. I'm seeing the pushback move around everything. Yeah, it's all synced up. It's it's, it's fantastic. Okay, so down on the FMC and do it on on my side. Uh, go ahead and click root. And do this uh, slow and methodical so we uh, are staying in sync. Uh, our origin is already in the scratch pad, so click the LSK for that and put in Boise Kilo Bravo Oscar India in the destination. Win the Zebo. There you go. And then uh, execute. Okay. Now. Snow is disconnected and bypass has been removed. Hand signal on the right. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Thanks for the push. Uh, click the departure and arrival. Click on the Salt Lake City departure. And let's choose one. Six left and the seagull one with the twin falls transition and then click well you can just do execute okay and root and then uh, go ahead and activate that and then execute sorry yep now go back to departures and arrivals and then um, because this is such a, uh, uh, you know, it's basically the, the SID and the transition and then the transition and then the star. So we'll do arrivals at KBOI. We will do, um, I'm not sure what Boise is landing. So go ahead and do the spud three arrival with the brof transition. And then execute. We will not put in an approach yet. Click on the legs page. Okay, it's a vector departure. The seagull one. Corver, seagull, hit next page. And then up to Twin Falls, hit next page. Click on Brof. And then go previous page and get rid of that discontinuity. And then execute. And then next page, 
Next page. I think we're good. So leave uh, that's fine there. Um, go ahead and click on init reference. Click on the gross weight. And then put in our cruise altitude of 380. And then click on the altitude there. Perfect. Click on uh, reserves will be 7. Cost index today will be 70. The uh, cruise winds, oh, we're not going to worry about that at this time. Nothing on there. I go ahead and execute. If I was really being methodical, go ahead and click clear on the scratch pad. I would put in a uh, cruise wind, but I won't. N1 limit. Outside air temperature put in two, zero two in the top one. No D rate, click takeoff. Okay, I hit it. Uh, oh, takeoff down at the bottom right, sorry. It flaps five. Click the CG button. Did the CG button work for you? The CG percentage CG. Button? Yeah, I got 20.3 and 4.5 on the trim. Click it one more time. CG is not syncing. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to click it on my side. No, it's not syncing. Do you, I have throttles. Okay. All right, go ahead and populate the V1, VR, V2. And did that work on your end? Yep, it did. Next page. I don't know why the CG's not working, but next page. Oh, that looks good. Go back to the legs page. All right, we're good there. All right, let's go ahead and uh, turn off packs. And let's see if we can start number two. So two to ground. Come down here. We're checking for... 20% on the N2. Is your N2 rising? N2, 9%. Okay, add fuel. Ground, good afternoon. Frontier 78. 70 look ready for push and start out of gate 13. Delta 13. Frontier flight 70, Salt Lake ground, good morning. Push and start at your own discretion. I do not control the ramp. Call for taxi. Push our discretion. Exactly. We'll <laughs> All right. Uh, we're looking good. Engine pressure good. Temperatures good. Good. All right. Start number. Uh, start number one. And two rising. Add fuel. We are looking good. Well, it'll be interesting, Nathan, to see if that center fuel pump or center fuel tank po po populates <laughs> later on. It will be. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of funny. Yeah. All right, we are stabilizing. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on the engine generators. One and two. Okay, Gen 2 coming on. Not coming on, is it? Nothing. Do let's we uh, do the same trick as before. So over here, home. Uh, it was under failures. Okay. I'll let you go first. Fix all failures. All right. So I fixed and disabled. Fixed all failures. Disabled. Yeah. Initially, we thought this was a shared flight issue, but it's actually a Zebo but mod feature. I I don't know. But the thing is, is I guess it didn't save the fact that we said disable. So go ahead and try your gens now. Okay. Gen 2. Bingo. 
<laughs> Gen 1. <laughs> Pro tip right there, guys. Fix your plane after pushback. <laughs> Yeah, that'll that'll save you about an hour right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Um, go ahead and please uh, enable hydraulic pumps A. Let's uh, turn on the packs. Salt Lake Traffic, American 1535. Whoa. Joining the localizer for 1-6 right, Salt Lake. Whoa, that's bad audio. That was awful. Oh, check your mic. Ugh. Hey, Kean Plays, how you doing? That was that was that hurt my ears. Dude's mic is right have, in his throat. I have my audio turned way down, but I think it's also coming through yours as well. The other thing too is he called ground. I think he called on ground's frequency. Uh, let's see. Let's check our frequencies. One, two, three, seven, seven, five. You might want to check your mic settings. Um, I shouldn't say that, but anyway. Salt Lake traffic, American 1535s on a 12 mile final for 1 6 right, Salt Lake. Uh, I think he checked his mic settings, Josh. Pilot on, uh, on final for 1 6 right. Uh, if you could back off the mic just a little bit, we might be able to understand a little better. Thanks. Uh, he's on Unicom, I think. I'm not hearing, I'm not tuned to Unicom. Yeah, I'm not on Unicom. Oh, yeah, you are. Nav 2. Nav 2. What? Yeah, Nav 2. Or Com 2 is not Unicom. Thanks for the heads up. Okay, all right, let's continue on. Do we have volume control of Com 2? Just just switch off Com uh, VHF 2 over on your pedestal side. All right, I got it. I got it. Good to go. I thought he was calling on ground, but that was my bad. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna change the frequency. It's even in the standby. It's not even the active. That's really bizarre. I just switched it a second ago. I don't know if you switched it back oh, again. Okay, just leave it there. As is, that was really bad. Wild hair, you sound just like the guy doing my pushback. <laughs> yep. Anger on uh, Frontier Seventy, ready for taxi. We are. He better say I have Bravo. Uh, uh, Delta 13. Okay, Frontier per- Flight 70, Salt Lake Ground. Good morning. Confirm information. Bravo's on board. We have Bravo. Frontier 70. Frontier Flight. Frontier Flight 70, runway 16. Yeah, he's saying Taxi Frontier. via Echo Hotel. He's saying via Echo Hotel. 216 Taxi right. 16 left via Echo Hotel. Or 16 left. 70. Okay, probe heat on. Okay, probe heat coming on. Uh, APU, uh, let's turn the, I'll turn the APU off and isolation valve to auto and auto set. flaps five. And flaps five. There we go. Okay. Flaps. All right. I'm going to turn on the taxi light simulate. Like you don't have to reach across me. Uh, can you uh, switch both engines to continuous? Okay, going to continuous. All right, I'm going to bring up the taxi diagram. And I'm going to make a radio call. Yeah, on this one, you want to do all, all comms? Yeah, if that's okay. Yeah, sounds good. I might have you test something, like in flight, maybe uh, uh, ask the controller something quickly or something. Kian, yeah, you need to have this 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 this, this game or this simulator, yeah. All right, so very important to call with who you are, where you are, and what you want to do. And in this case, we want to have the weather. So, Salt Lake Ground, Southwest 572. We're in the Alley B Gates. Request taxi with Bravo. Southwest 572, Salt Lake Ground. Thanks for Bravo. Runway 16 left, taxi via hotel. 16 left via hotel, Southwest 572. Good morning. 
Okay, releasing parking brake. I have control. Cool. Your plane operating okay over there? Yeah, everything's looking good. I got traffic up ahead. Yeah. So he told us just to jump on hotels, so we don't even have to go up Deco. Yeah, we can go to Hotel Via uh, Echo if we want to. It's our discretion, which we will. Well, maybe we won't. Maybe we'll go up to Hotel. I believe if he gave you Hotel, we could go either way, but we'll simulate spot niner up here. It's cool we have some traffic. I like that. Yeah, it looks nice. He's right parallel with us. And I'm going to teach you something else that uh, I sometimes don't do. So do as I say and not as I do. You do not have to call ground ever again at, from this point. Once you've contacted ground and they've given you clearance, you know, taxi instructions to the runway, once you get to the end of the runway, you can automatically switch to tower frequency. That's right. So on this one, since we don't have a tower controller, um, we also don't have a center, do we? No, unfortunately we do not. We'll just go to 22.8. But we, uh, we'll wait for now Solid because I want to listen to him. Clear 168 to the ramp. Oh, we still hear him. American 1535 Solid Ground coming in about 18 by 18. Uh, can you move your mic a little bit away from your face? Uh, Again. Yeah, there you go. Okay, American 1535, how is this? Oh, much better. Still a little loud, but a little more uh, easier to read. American 1535, welcome to the Beehive State. Taxi to the ramp, straight ahead, good day. Awesome. To the ramp, straight ahead. Good day, and uh, we'll adjust the mic volume. Thank you. That was awesome. 18 out of 18. <laughs> that was great. Nice controller. 18 out of 18. And ground south was 572. We're going to switch to tower here momentarily. We uh, just want to do a quick wind check. It was 572. Uh, let me get the winds for you. South was 572. Winds are 150 at 4. Tower should be coming on here in the next 5 minutes. Uh... Okay, thanks for the winds. Appreciate that. Southwest 572. You want to stand by a minute, wait for tower, or just... I might go to the de ice pad. Yeah, sounds good. Ah, no. Let's get out of here. All right. We might do a missed approach. We might do a... We might even do a return to field. <laughs> if tower comes back on, we very might well do a return to field, if that makes sense. Sounds good to me. It's a good test of the shared cockpit. All right, go ahead and switch to Unicom, uh, 122.8 on COM1. Thank you. And what's going to happen is, okay, so Frontier Flight 70 is going, uh, he might be going to the de-ice pads potentially. No, he's not. And and he, and he's doing what a lot of pilots will do is he might be talking to he might be talking to ground here pretty soon. So go ahead and put com, uh, ground one two three seven seven five in com two. Let's just monitor on your side. Roger. Just out of just for academics. He's calling him. He's calling him. 
Frontier Flight 70, when you're first in line for a runway or are ready for takeoff, you can automatically contact Tower, or in this case, Unicom. You don't need to let ground know. Have a good day. Very well said. Okay, alright, over to Unicom then, Frontier 70. Thank you. Very low audio. That's great. I, I love that, Sam. They are great on helping new pilots. If there's, yeah. I mean, they're excellent at that. The problem is, is that different centers are doing different things with regard to this situation. And and I, I, I really hope that over time, I think a lot of them are doing this, but uh, over time, I, I think there needs to be like across the board procedures because people will come here and they'll they'll wait until they get told to switch because it, it happened at another facility, whether it be a an SOP or someone that wasn't trained correctly, I, either way, but. Controller or pilot, I guess. But it's just so common. Yeah, I, I can't imagine how hard standardization is for such a large international volunteer network. Oh, I yeah. can't imagine that. Oh, yeah, that's it would it's be crazy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're on. We're uh, you, you, we're on Un, uh, Unicom, correct? Yeah. All right, Solid go ahead and ground, switch. American fifteen thirty five. American fifteen. 35 solid ground, still coming in a little loud, go ahead. Very okay, good. Yeah, I just adjusted my mic down a little while, a little bit. I was just wanting to test it, I'll go back into the settings and try again. Yeah, you sound a little bass boosted, like, uh, I just like hear you peeking. Okay, thanks. Uh, can you switch back to ground? Okay, switching COM1 to ground, you're good. And ground, and ground sol southwest, southwest 572. 572. If, if he wants he to, wants he can to, tune, he can tune into, into the live stream and stream hear his own audio, audio for, for testing. testing. Alrighty, I'll let him know. American 1535. Uh, currently, someone is streaming. You can go ahead and hear your audio on his stream if you'd like. Okay, thank you. American 1535. Can 50. 1535, I'll send you his link right now. All right, you can switch to Unicom and then still monitor ground and COM2. All right, Unicom, COM1, and we got ground, COM2. Okay. Um, this is Southwest 572. We're holding short to 1-6 left for a moment. Salt Lake traffic. Hey, we got a passenger issue in the back. you mind if I step away for 10 seconds? Please take care of it. Thank you. We'll be right back. Thank you, Aqua. Yep, there it is. <clears throat> Someone not wearing a mask in first class. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Humber, how you doing? All right, so while we're in a holding situation, I'm going to bring Southwest over... Southwest 572, if you're still on this frequency, I think tower's getting online here momentarily, so... Uh, Roger, uh, Roger, thanks for the heads up. Heads up. We're, we're in a hold, in a hold. Southwest, Southwest 572. 572. Tower 119.5, so I'm going to switch. I think we're still monitoring two three seven seven five. And I'm back with you. Okay, with you. Uh, do you are, yeah. we are monitoring two three seven seven five over here, right? With because VHF two is lift, lit up. That's correct. Okay. All right. Go ahead and toggle auto throttle. 
And auto throttle armed. Let's see if LNAV and VNAV will engage. One of them may, one of them may not. All right, you want me to test that? We'll yep, go LNAV yep. first. Yep. Okay, LNAV. Okay, I'll go VNAV. And VNAV lit up. <clears throat> Good. Beautiful. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, landing lights I'll turn on. And uh, switch to strobe and steady. And I'll go taxi. Okay, taxi lights off. <laughs> uh, you get it on what? Sharedflight.com. Yeah, sharedflight.com is the is the plugin that works with more than just the Zebo. So. Yeah, and right now they're in beta testing, and um, to get into the group, it may take a bit, but they're they've been really good about adding new folks in. <clears throat> All right, I don't think that guy's coming to test his audio, so um, we'll contact Tower. Oh, ground went off, off frequency. Okay. Uh, he's probably going to give us a heading. Can you put in heading 280? 280 in the heading coming up. What's up? It's me, Brad. Howdy. Hey, it's me, Brad. I suggest join their Discord. Yeah, that would be a great start there. Salt Lake Tower, Southwest 572, holding short 16 left, ready to go. Mike's muted. <laughs> Mine is? No, I think the tower's mic is muted. He was transmitting, but uh, nothing was coming through. Uh, no copy on uh, tower, Southwest 572. Okay, standby. Text message. Would you like beautiful colors on your MFD? Sure. So, terrain coming up. Uh, what is shared flight? Uh, so Purina, uh, my friend Nathan here, N87UP, is in Florida. I'm in the state of Utah. We are connected. He is flying his simulator with the 737 Zebo as well as uh, connected to a, a service called Shared Flight. And you can check out the details on sharedflight.com. But basically, whenever he does something in his plane, it does it to mine and vice versa. And so we're sharing the cockpit together, if that makes sense, over the internet. Oh, those 572 Salt Lake Tower. Ah, 5x5. Five five. Those 572 Salt Lake Tower, good morning. Flighting 280, runway 16 left, clear for takeoff. Heading 280, 16 left, cleared for takeoff, Southwest 572. Uh, Nathan, go ahead and, uh, well, hold on a second. And so like Tower Southwest 572. Left. Can we have our first officer do a quick mic check with Entered you? Entered runway 16 left, 12,000 feet remaining. All right, Nathan, go ahead and give him a call. Just say mic check one, two or something. Southwest 572, mic check. Negative. Let me make sure I got pushed to talk. Stand by. Southwest 572, mic check. Are you hitting negative? Is the TX light lighting up on your client? Good question. Negative. Okay, we'll troubleshoot that later. Let me make later. sure. Give me one moment. I know what it is. Um, 